Hey guys, it's Tanya and I'm back with another Talkie Tuesday video. I'm really excited to be here today. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I wanted to talk to you about our grandparents. <laughs> Maybe not specifically about them, but about what they knew. I've been thinking about this for a while now and I want to share with you eight things that our grandparents knew that we need to learn now. As always, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure to like this video and please share your comments down below. That really helps my videos to get moving in the algorithm and it also helps me to connect more with my community. The first skill that my grandparents knew that I feel we need to learn today is gardening. I am a city girl born and bred. I spent the majority of my life in New York City, moved to Georgia for the remainder of high school, and I didn't know how to grow anything. Now, to be fair, my mother also grew up in New York and she knew how to garden. Her father was a Southerner. I don't know how much he taught her, but I think he taught her some things because she knew how to grow plants that just thrived. And her vegetable garden was also beautiful when she had one, but she didn't have one continuously throughout my childhood. I didn't spend any time in the garden. My father, however, grew up in the South and he grew up gardening and working as a migrant farmer. So he was very familiar with farming, with gardening, with planting, with picking vegetables. He knew the whole deal, but I never learned. So as an adult, I decided to embark on this journey myself in my 40s to figure out how to grow things. I talk about it in another video. I'll post that up here. But I was very interested in learning how to garden and grow food to provide produce for my family. I think this is a skill we can and all should develop. You don't have to have a lot of land. You can even have a patio garden where you use containers. Some people even garden indoors with grow lights. There are a lot of different options and this is a skill that I think we need to learn. Raising animals is the second skill that I want to highlight. My grandparents had chickens. I don't believe they had other animals, but they definitely always had this source of protein, which is eggs. They also sometimes slaughtered chickens so that they could have that meat. I learned how to raise chickens about four or five years ago when my family got our first chickens and we've never looked back. We have a lot of fun with our chickens. We currently don't have any meat birds, which means that we don't use any of our chickens for food, well, for meat. We just use the eggs that they produce and we eat those. In the future, however, I would like to raise meat birds, that is chickens that are specifically raised for meat. And I would also like to get goats and potentially rabbits to provide meat for my family as well. I think that being able to provide your own food is something that we've gotten away from, but it actually does give you a leg up in society and it helps you to be able to survive in the event that there's some kind of catastrophe and we can't access food. One of the additional benefits of raising animals is depending on the type of animal that you raise, you can not only get meat, but you can also get dairy, which is one of the reasons that we're looking at goats. I would love to be able to get milk and cheese from my goats as well as meat. That might not be your cup of tea and that's okay, but just remember that you can get great sources of protein from animals. You can get meat, eggs, and milk. If you have a garden as well, you're pretty set. The third skill that our grandparents knew and that I think we should all learn is how to start a fire. Building a fire is essential for survival in many situations. Growing up, my dad and his siblings took turns lighting the fire in their home so that they would have heat in their house and have a source to cook with. I think that building a fire is an essential skill like swimming. We should know how to do those things for survival, but many of us don't anymore. I took a course this past summer, or not summer rather, but this past winter, just so that I could learn how to build a fire. And I did learn, I was very excited. I still don't know how to start a fire with flint and sticks though, but I do know how to use various tools and devices and how to build a fire using which size of, um, of twigs and branches and what kind of fire will produce a lot of heat or quick heat. These are important things. And if you're like me, Gen X or later, we didn't really learn that unless you were in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. A lot of us didn't get that kind of information or that kind of knowledge. So building a fire is something that we should get under our belts, that we should learn how to do. The fourth skill that our grandparents knew that we need to learn is how to store food. Our grandparents knew how to can food. They knew how to preserve food for long-term usage. And that is a skill that we have given over to someone else to do. We buy canned products from the store, items that are 
for being stored for later use, right? But well, that's a skill that we need to get under our belts today. So learning how to can food, learning how to preserve food by freeze drying, which is a new method that people are able to use, um, freezing food properly, uh, learning how to dehydrate food. These are all great methods that you can use to preserve food for future use. Food preservation is a skill that we can all benefit from because in the event of an emergency where our electricity goes out, we want to have food that's preserved and that we can use that we don't have to rely upon being frozen or cold. One of the reasons that older generations did this is because in certain situations, they didn't have refrigeration or freezers to store food. So they would can it or preserve it in some other way, like smoking it so that it would last long term and they could use it over, say, the winter months or later on in the year where they didn't have those fresh items growing. So it's a good idea to learn the skills of food preservation so that you can have food in situations where you don't have electricity or where you run out of food or can't purchase it from the store. The fifth skill that we need to learn that our grandparents knew was how to sew. I have to confess that I don't really know how to sew very well. My mother was an excellent seamstress. She made her wedding dress and both of my prom dresses. She was really talented at sewing and at crocheting. This is not a skill that I've perfected. I want to learn this though, because to be able to make your own clothes, maybe people don't feel that they need to do that right now. And there are lots and lots of clothes out there. But for one thing, it can help you save money to make your own clothing. And it's also a good skill to have if you need it in the event that things get very difficult and we can't go out and buy clothes. So knowing how to sew is kind of one of those lost arts as well, but I think it's a really good skill to have. It's also a skill that you can contribute to a community if you become part of a community where people are helping one another, working together and preparing together. That's a skill that's very valuable that people will be looking for. So knowing how to sew is something that you should really try to learn. The sixth skill that I want to talk about that our grandparents knew and we need to learn is how to cook from scratch. I know, I know, don't judge me, don't be mad. You might either be like, girl, I know how to cook everything from scratch or what are you talking about? I can get a box from the store. Whatever your position, hear me out. Cooking from scratch is so much healthier. It is um, often cheaper. You can get fresher items. And it's good to learn because if you can't get those boxed goods, you need to know how to do the task fresh from the beginning. I'm going to confess, I don't really know how to bake a cake without using one of the pre prepackaged cake box mixes. Don't judge me. You can judge me a little bit. My husband does, though. <laughs> So knowing how to cook fresh foods from scratch, how to make a meal um, from scratch is a really great skill to have. It's something that will work in your favor. You can buy foods individually and not have to buy pre-packaged or pre-made food. Food from scratch just always tastes better anyway, doesn't it? <laughs> We love to eat food that we know has been made with love and made with care and made with time and effort. And really it's healthier for us because the ingredients are fresher. We know where they came from. We know where all the individual parts are from. Now I'm not saying that you need to go out there, grow your wheat, grind your grain, make your flour and bake your bread, although some people do. <laughs> but I am saying that being able to prepare at least mo the majority of your meals from scratch go a long way toward helping your family be more healthy and toward helping you save money. The seventh skill that our grandparents had that I believe we need to learn is fishing or hunting. Now I grew up fishing because my family loves to go fishing. I don't remember a time when I didn't fish as a child. From a very young age we all went out with our little cane poles and um, started fishing and then eventually graduated to rod and reel. Um, my husband's family grew up hunting, so we know how to procure meat for ourselves when we need food, protein sources. That's a skill that a lot of people, um, that's a skill that will really help you if you don't know how to raise animals, if you don't have animals on your land, if you don't have a situation where you can raise animals, knowing how to bring in food from nature is really helpful. It's a great skill. My granny would take us fishing. My aunts would take us fishing. My dad would take us fishing. So that's a skill that I learned. My kids have gone fishing with my family. It is really enjoyable to me and it's also a great way to provide food for your family. The last skill that I want to share that our grandparents' generation knew that I think we need to learn is building and carpentry. 
our grandparents knew how to build a basic thing, right? They might be able to build a shed or a chicken coop. My grandfather uh, dug a well and built a connection to get from the well to the house. He built on their house. My great grandmother had a whole um, boarding house that they built so that she could board tenants in the area who wanted to work on the farms. Building is a skill that we have lost. We pay other people to do it for us now. I'm not saying that we need to learn how to build full-on houses, although that's not a bad skill to have. But being able to build things that we need for our projects on our homestead is really great and it will save you a lot of money having to employ someone else to do the task. Some things may be a bit harder and I'm not at all against bringing in somebody to do a job for you if you don't know how to do it. But I think that basic building skills, just like basic sewing skills, can go a long way in helping you to get things done that you don't have to bring in someone else to do and that will um, raise your confidence level and provide for things around your home. What skills did your grandparents have that you think are very important for us to learn how to do today? I know that there are things out there I haven't mentioned. I would love for you to drop these thoughts in the comments and tell us some of those skills. Um, I know I have family members on here, so if I didn't mention certain skills that our grandparents had that you recall, please put them here in the comments. I'm really excited about you all. This community is growing and it's a lot of fun. I appreciate your thoughts. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your input. I'm looking forward to the next time that I can share with you. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching y'all. I'll see you the next time. Take care.